Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the sieve stitch. It's a very simple two row repeat that is simply made up of single crochets and chains. It's quite a dense stitch so lends itself very well to things like dishcloths or fabric which you'd like a bit of structure to. To begin, pop a slip knot onto your hook. Now the pattern multiple for this is nice and simple, it's two. So you can go ahead and chain an even number. I'm going to be making a small sample today, so I'm going to go ahead and chain 18. Once you have an even number of chains, we're going to start by working into the second chain from the hook. Now the loop on your hook does not count as anything, you only want to count these fully formed chains hanging down below. So counting backwards, one, two, into that second chain, work a single crochet. Then for the rest of this first row, we're simply going to place one single crochet into each chain all the way along. Now for row two, row two is the start of the pattern repeat. So we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch, so we ignore it completely, and we're going to work into the very first single crochet right here where we chained from. And into that stitch, we're going to work one single crochet, then chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next. We're going to repeat this all the way down. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next stitch. You'll end the row with a single crochet into the top of the last single crochet from the row below. For row three, row three is the second of the two row repeats. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and again, this chain one does not count as a stitch, so we ignore it entirely. Now for row three, we're going to be working into these chain one spaces that we created in row two. So skipping that first stitch and going straight into the chain one space, we're going to work two single crochets, both into that same place. So that's one, and that's two. Now into the next chain one space, two single crochets one and two. We're going to repeat this working two single crochets into each chain one space down the row. Once you have run out of chain one spaces to work into, to end row three, we're going to end with one single crochet into the top of this single crochet from the row below. You may need to rotate your work a little bit to spot the V of that stitch, but into that very last stitch, one single crochet. You can see we formed these super cute little eyelets all the way down. 
For the remainder of the project, you're simply going to repeat rows two and three. We'll do a quick recap of them now. So we'll chain one to repeat of row two, turn your work and work one single crochet into that very first stitch. Then chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next. We're going to do that all the way along to the other side of the work. Then, for the second of the two rows repeats, we're going to be doing a repeat of row three. So chain one, turn your work, and this is the row where we work into just the chain one spaces. And into each chain one space, work two single crochets. Once you've run out of chain one spaces to work into, end with one single crochet into that very last stitch. Keep repeating rows two and three over and over and over until your project is the length that you want it to be. And once you're ready, we're going to chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a nice long length to weave in, pull that through, pull it tight and your project is complete. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do let me know down in the comments what you think of the sieve stitch and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.